big money special interests? Well, two things. First of all, that's where we need your help. Two, because, of, uh, look, I've been through this uh, initiative the 23 years I've been in Congress. We used to get 80 votes and we got 100 votes. And right. It's no use bringing up a bill unless you're going to show strength. You're going to win or you're going to show you're going to be, have to be reckoned with. But you can't show weakness. So uh, the, the time that we can take up the bill is the time uh, when all of us, like us do it, get out there and, and, and talk to members and tell them how important this is to you. This is fundamental. It's about our democracy. It's about the people's interests. It's about uh, uh, removing the perception in the public's mind that people who contribute large amounts of money have some different access than these poor kids who need the Promise Act uh, for them. So this is fundamental to a democracy, fundamental to uh, the confidence that people have in government. So I urge all of you to call, write, blog, email us. Uh, we don't even call them right anymore. Tweet, whatever, Twitter, whatever it is, but make your voices known. And nothing is more eloquent to a member of Congress than voice his or her own constituents. So it, you know, we can, again, maneuver and persuade and this or that, but hearing from all of you, remember Franklin Russell, make us do it. And uh, in addition to this, we have passed the Disclosed Act in Congress. Uh, this is Americans United Response, Americans United, uh, really, I think, horrible decision by the Supreme Court to allow business with undisclosed, unlimited money uh, to come into districts and, and spend and have an impact, even if they have a, a large foreign ownership. Foreign companies have an impact on American uh, elections, and you don't even know it. So the Disclose Act would it, it doesn't eliminate the decision, but it eliminates uh, the uh, non-disclosure. And that is in the Senate. Now, Chris Van Hollen of Maryland has uh, made a big, uh, uh, has taken great leadership on this. So tell the Senate to pass the Disclose Act. Tell all of us to pass uh, this um, uh, public financing. What's the official title of it? Fair Elections. Fair Elections. It, 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 Jim, it's introduced, it has a little bit of a different name. But we all know what it means. I mean, people being in charge of government. It's very, very important. And lots of people are working very, very hard on it. So let's grab that ball, all of us, and run with it and see if we can't get the biggest, strongest going on. John Larson, of a, uh, he's a part of the Democratic leadership, has uh, it's just been relentless uh, on this for Jan Chikowski has been leading on this issue. Donna Edwards, I, yeah, that's been part of who you are for a long time. Uh, so. Uh, we're all, all together on this, but to me, I like to show strength. So uh, they're going to the floor. May I just say, as we conclude, I said at the beginning, reference that uh, with the elections in 2006, when we won the Congress, and especially when we elected a president of the United States, and increased our, that the leverage changed. And all the things that Rachel was saying, the president was saying, when you're talking about Wall Street reform, it's about consumers. Thank you, Elizabeth Warren. The most um, uh, substantial reform in, in the financial services industry in decades, and the most important consumer protection in history. In history, 